The next thing we're going to discuss is fog. We want to know how fog appears or forms so you know where to be aware of fog forming suddenly. The different types of fog are radiation, advection, steam fog, upslope fog, precipitation fog, and ice fog. Radiation fog will normally occur on a calm, cool, still air night. What happens is during the daytime when the sun was shining and heating the earth's surface and then the sun set, that all of this warm air that was at the surface began to rise. Began to rise. And so all the warm air rises up above and leaves the ground cool. So you have warm air here and then you have cool air at the surface. Well, if the temperature and dew point meet each other at the surface, then you would get the ground fog. But again, this has to be on a very calm, still night or even early morning. And the name radiation fog comes from the fact that the warm air radiated off the earth and left the earth cool. The advection fog has to do with coastal areas. So if this was water and then you have the land, if the temperature difference between the land and the water, if the fog actually formed over the water, but wind blew that fog inland right here. So advection fog requires water and a water source of some sort. Could be a lake, could be the ocean, but and it also requires wind. So we need wind and water. If we had uh, wind in the radiation fog, the wind would just blow the fog away or disperse it. But on the advection fog, the fog actually formed over the water and was blown just inland. Uh, steam fog is kind of similar, but the fog stays over the water. So it could be where the uh, cold winter air blew over the Great Lakes that had a little bit of uh, warm and moist warmth and moisture to them. Um, but the steam fog also usually requires a little bit of wind but definitely requires a water source. It just appears that the water is steaming with the fog. Upslope fog is where the air was forced up mountains, and as the air was forced up the mountains, it created mountain fog. So they call it upslope fog. Precipitation fog would be where uh, you had some rain, and the rain fell through a different temperature below, so you could have um, warm rain if a warm front uh, was there and you had the warm air aloft and the warm air could fall through colder temperatures below. Or you could have, well, that's pretty much would be your scenario. The ice fog is any one of the above fogs where the temperature is below freezing. So you could have ice radiation fog and so on. So ice fog is any one of those where the uh, temperature is below freezing.